Okay, so this is your inverter, 3000 watt inverter charger. It has a dual action 50 amp transfer switch that'll accept, you know, single, single leg, or it'll also accept dual legs. So if you're on a 50 amp service, it'll transfer the full 50 amp service, leg one and leg two, onto the, cir onto the circuits, and it will charge the batteries at a 120 amp rate. This device here is your 15070 charge controller. Um, in perfect conditions, you know, the output of that controller max is 70 amps. With three panels, you'll see, what, 40 or 50 amps roughly on around June. Um, you've got two to the right of that. You've got two Orion 12-1230s. They're already pre-programmed to charge the lithium for this battery, it would be 14.4 volts. Um, they have engine shutdown detection, um, remote on and off. So once they see the alternator is charging, they will turn themselves on. They will turn themselves off automatically. Now, that fan above it, as long as that Anderson's plugged in, it will pull power. But it's really the only option to get you that amount of cooling. Below it to the bottom left is your Servo GX. That's Victron's Linux-based computer. It allows everything to be remotely monitored. You can add a touch screen, you can add tank monitoring sensors, all kinds of goodies with that thing. To the right of that is your Lynx distributor. It contains four fuse blocks. Each fuse um, is specific for each circuit that it's protecting, but it takes a standard automotive uh, mega fuse that can be purchased at any AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, anything like that. To the right of that is the Victron um, shunt, smart shunt. That is measuring all the current that is going in and out of the battery. The smart shunt has Bluetooth capabilities as well as the two Orions and the smart solar controller. Those are Bluetooth. The inverter is not Bluetooth. The inverter can be seen through the servo through the remote console. This right here is your deployable solar port. So this will hook up with the Klinko connector. This will click and lock in. The silver tab is always up. And that'll connect to your MC4s to your um, panel. This is the rooftop solar disconnect breaker and the breaker box. We've also left, you have an extra space here. So if you ever want to do three more panels on the roof, mm -hmm. you have the room to add that extra solar breaker and have them isolated. Huh. So we got yeah. three running down this side. You could still do another three on the other side mm -hmm. later on if you chose to. Okay. You got space in the box to upgrade. 